In this tutorial we are going to do object detection using Jetson Xavier. Although I assume that you will use AGX Xavier, software installation process is also applicable to other Jetson family products. Despite its small size, Jetson X Xavier is very powerful in terms of AI inferencing capabilities as an edge device. The first step is to install Git. In this tutorial we will use it to copy a Git repository into our local directory. Now go to YOLA 5 page and clone the repository. To make YOLA 5 work, this software should be installed. For example, on Windows 10 desktop you should just execute requirements test file. But for Jetson, we should install some additional software. Also note that with AGX Xavier you should not install OpenCV using pip command. OpenCV installed with CUDA support during Jetpack installation. If you install OpenCV via pip command, you will break the initial installation. Install Python 3 pip. Upgrade PyYaml library. PyYaml is a full-featured YAML framework for the Python programming language. Next install TQDM. TQDM is a Python library that allows you to output a smart progress bar by wrapping around any iterable. A TQDM progress bar not only shows you how much time has elapsed, but also shows the estimated time remaining for the iterable. Before upgrading NumPy, Cython has to be installed. Cython is an optimizing static compiler for both the Python programming language and the extended Cython programming language. It makes writing C extensions for Python as easy as Python itself. Now upgrade NumPy to version 1.19.5. Before installing matplotlib, we need to install some packages. The build essentials packages are necessary for compiling software. Python dev is the package that contains the header files for the Python C API. Install some packages on which matplotlib depends. Here package versions are specified to make sure that packages with which YOLO v5 works will be installed. Although YOLO may work with other versions too. Also install the FreeType. FreeType is a freely available software library for font rendering. Now we are ready to install matplotlib. Before installing SciPy, some libraries should be installed. Install GFortran. GFortran is the GNU Fortran compiler, which is part of the GNU compiler collection. Install libopenglass. Openglass is an open source implementation of the basic linear algebra subprograms with many handcrafted optimizations for specific processor types. Install LAPAC. LAPAC is a standard software library for numerical linear algebra.
Now we are ready to install SciPy. Before installing the pillow, we need to install libjpeg. libjpeg is a widely used C library for reading and writing JPEG image files. Install the pillow. Now we are going to install PyTorch. PyTorch will be installed using pip, but for AGX Xavier we need a pip wheel that was built for ARM Arch 64 architecture. Go to this page and download one of the PyTorch binaries from the list. In this tutorial we will use version 1.9. Just copy the command. Change the library name and execute it in the terminal. Install typing extensions. Now build the wheel file we previously downloaded. Strangely PyTorch version 1.8 is installed. Maybe this is because there is no suitable Torch Vision version for PyTorch version 1.9. But 1.8 will work for us too. So, we will leave it as it is. Now we are going to install Torch Vision. Basically, all you need to do is just to copy and paste these commands. Firstly, Install required libraries. Clone Torch Vision version 0.9. Move to the Torch Vision directory. In this line build version variable is set to 0.9. By executing this command Torch Vision build will begin. Install Seaborn version 0.11. We are ready to execute YOLO v5. Go to your YOLO directory. Open Detect Pi script. Copy this command. Image path. Model and input image size should be specified. We have successfully executed the script. Move to the Run Detect Exp folder. As you can see, inference is performed successfully. Now we are going to install LibRealSense. Go to this page. Clone this repository. Move to install RealSense SDK directory. Execute build lib real sense shell script.
After installation, let's check whether the library works properly. Open a terminal and import PyRealSense2 library. Module not found error means that something is wrong with the installation directory. As you can see, the library should be installed here. After a little investigation I found out that the library was actually installed here. So, Python path in bash rc file needs to be modified. Modify this line. Source bash rc file to apply changes immediately. Let's try to import PyRealSense one more time. Now we can import it successfully. Install libcambera gtk. This is the module that takes GUI events like pressing a button, from gtk plus and plays some configured sound. Let's see what in the code. This code is based on DetectPy script. This is a part of the code added. Here, image size, format and frame rate are defined. Pipeline start means that we start pipeline streaming with configuration we set in the above line. The alignment utility performs per pixel geometric transformation based on the depth data. Here, wait until a new set of frames becomes available. The frame set includes time synchronized frames of each enabled stream in the pipeline. Here we get aligned frames from RGB and depth camera. To run this code, open terminal. Type, recognition with real sense pie. 